Okay, this is a tutorial about um, two-point perspective and um, for this tutorial you'll need three pieces. One is a actual tutorial which I'll have to, uh, well which is created in iLearn, it's from Professor Husley and um, that is the uh, you know step-by-step -step instruction. Then you'll need a uh, drawing of the object that we're drawing in perspective with the exact specifications where the proportions are a little bit different than the one shown in the in the printout okay and then you'll need a spec sheet that tells you where to place the uh, uh, the drawing in the 11 by 17 sheet uh, which you'll need to do this drawing um, the final will be just eight and a half by 11 vertical that shows the plane view and the object in perspective in this area. Um, so the first thing we'll do is uh, to, uh, define all the elements of the drawing. And, um, and so there's various parts and they all have their names. Um, of course, you have the object that's placed on the uh, on the plan view, and we're going to start with the picture plane, which is our imaginary plane where we're going to draw our object. Um, the picture plane is really a vertical plane that's in front of the viewer, which then flips down to the drawing. So both the vertical and other lines that are on the uh, horizontal plane are going to be combined into one single plane. Anyway, that's the picture plane, and we're going to make the picture plane touch the object. Uh, so anything that's touching the picture plane is going to be a true dimension. Uh, the second thing that we're going to establish is the station point. And that's where the person looking at the object is standing, in this case, is standing perfectly straight in front of that particular corner of the object. Um, and that's at six and a half inches, okay, which could be six and a half feet, 60 feet. Um, this could be a building. Um, then uh, the next thing we need to find out is, oh, let's backtrack a little bit. So just position, some of these line dimensions are arbitrary because they're just made so that it fits in the drawing. So from the top of your drawing uh, sheet, which is 11 by 17, which is the orange line, uh, four inches down, that's where you're gonna put the picture plane. And then the station point is 12 and a half inches from the edge, from this edge, okay? Uh, once we've determined the station point, um, we'll draw uh, two lines which are going to be parallel to the side of the object. Okay, and I forgot to mention that the object is positioned with for for um, ease of drawing it. We're going to position the object at 60 degrees and 30 degrees here. Okay, so I'm going to draw it now. And for that, uh, you're going to need your triangle. Okay, I'm using my little ruler, but you want to have your triangle, which is, of course, these two triangles. Okay. Uh, just, well, actually it's the same triangle, just turned, right? Uh, so therefore, this line here, is parallel to this line. Let's say the right side of the object is, par uh, is parallel to this line that we're going to draw, and the left side is going to be parallel to this line that we're going to draw. Okay? Like that. And when those two lines from the station point hit the picture plane, we're going to call these points A and B. And let's just say right away that those are the only times you're going to need them. You kind of have to forget about them later on. Um, when, you, when it reaches the picture plane, they come down vertically. And they come down vertically, and when they hit the horizon line, which will be again in this case, we, we pick it. We just decide, okay, the horizon line is pretty high. 
uh, in this case it's three quarters of an inch. When it hits that line, that's your vanishing point, okay? So that's your right vanishing point, and this is my left vanishing point. And the next thing is the side elevation of the object, which uh, in our case we put at, um, I believe, yeah, three and three quarters from the picture plane. And this is kind of important because the relationship of the elevation to the horizon line determines uh, if you're going to see the object from below, from above, uh, etc. So in this case, because the horizon line is higher than the object, in the perspective drawing, we will see the top of the object. Okay? If the horizon line was you know, in the middle of it, we, would, we wouldn't see the top. right? I'm also just going to quickly draw the object here in axonometric. So I'm not trying to draw it in perspective, but at least we have a view of it. So we're going to call this the, um, I believe, okay, this is the side, this is the front, and this is the top. And this is the leading edge. This is the part that's touching the uh, picture plane. Uh, okay, so we have the side elevation, we have the horizon line, we have the picture plane, we have the object, we have established the two vanishing points. And like I said, now you kind of have to forget A and B and really focus on the vanishing points because that's where all the lines will converge. Uh, the first step we'll do is find this line in perspective. Again, because it's touching the picture plane, it's, it won't be in perspective at all in the sense that it will be exactly the same dimension as the original. And what we'll do is we'll project the height of the object. Okay. We'll project the height of the object onto this um, onto this uh, line here. And that will give us the first corner. Um, now, uh, by the way, the station point could have been moved left or right, in which case the view would have been slightly different. Um, and then that particular line wouldn't have coincided with that axis, but in this case it does. Uh, once we have this first height, which is going to be one and a half, if you remember from the object being one and a half, which by the way is all in thirds, that's three by one and a half, it's divided into thirds this way and also this way half inch, half inch, half inch. So it's a little bit, again, different, easier than the one shown here. Okay, hopefully you don't get confused by that. Um, okay, once you have the leading edge here, let's connect now to the vanishing points. So we just simply draw lines from top and bottom endings. And again, try not, to, try not to get confused and use A and B. You have to use the vanishing points right below it. Like that. Like that. So now we start seeing the sides. We don't know where the sides end. So that's the next thing which we need to find out is where are these two points. And this is a very simple step. Uh, you kind of repeat this throughout. You connect those points to the station point. One and two. And where they meet the picture plane, right there, you draw them down vertically. Okay, again, you would be doing this with two triangles or with a T-square and a triangle. I'm doing it with one just for ease of demonstration here. So that comes down vertically. Again, the intersection of the line going to the station point with the picture plane comes down vertically and where it intersects my two vanishing lines, that's my other side. And the same here. So that's the point. Comes down vertically. That's my other side. Okay, so right away I have my left side of an imaginary box that contains my uh, building or object. Okay. 
so you can see it's starting to take shape. Okay, now the top, it's easy because since I have that top corner and this top corner, I just connect to the right and to the left. And that gives me the top view. Okay, now again, that's just a, a plain box, I'm going to have to curve it out a little bit. But that's, that's the object in perspective overall. Okay. Uh, the next thing we can try to figure out, now we have a lot of information, we won't need to construct every single line because uh, the more we do, the less we have to do in a way. But let's figure out where this spot is, this line right here. So it's on the side of the object and I can find out where it is by applying the same process to this point here in plan view. So I connect it to the station point and where it meets my picture plane, I drop it down. And as I do that, what I get really is a line on the side, which you know would be this line. I really just need that little part, right? So to find that height there, I project the height of that step onto the edge onto my leading edge right here. So I project that, I get the height, the real height, right? The true height because that's touching the picture plane. From there I project, again, don't get confused with it, just go to the vanishing point. And when you do that, where they cross with my other line, I get the side. So now, right away, because I have all that information, I can, um, I can get a lot more stuff. Uh, in other words, I don't need to construct anymore, for example, that entire step, because I can just now project all these three lines to the right. So let's do it. That would be the first. That would be the second from there. That would be the third. And now I get this point, and I get that point. And I will now connect this way. And it starts getting a little busy, but now if you, if you will notice, uh, these two points now should correspond. Those are vertical. Okay. You could double check if that vertical that I just did is truly in the right spot. By, uh, by taking this line, connecting it to the station point, and then dropping down the vertical. But I believe, let's just try it for kicks, like that. And you can see. Okay, so the line goes all the way down. When it meets the picture plane, it comes drops down. So you can see we could have solved that part that way too. Um, I'll do just one last item here which is one of these three steps, one of these three column things. And just remember that when you draw them, they have to look like they're growing, right? Otherwise, they're not going to be right. So that's, you know, so big, that's a little bigger, and that's even a little bigger. If they all look the same, they're not in perspective, right? If they're the same in reality. Um, okay, so let's take this one. Uh, station point connection where it meets the picture plane, vertical. And there it is, and now I'm doing too many lines there. Uh, I'll do the same with this. Oh, that wasn't so good because it's, it's a little close here. It's here somewhere. It's, it's, it's matching the other line, which is not so good. So I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry. I took that instead of this. Yeah, I, I projected that instead of that. Sorry. Okay, here we go. So there's another one. Bring it down, and I get my... So now I'm just... You can see my divisions are not so great. The middle one looks like it's smaller. Um, so that's not so good. Uh, 
Now, the last one will be this point here, and we know that that's really a third, right, in your object. Once you draw the actual thing, it won't look like this. Um, now, because that's in the middle of the object, what I need to do is I need to extend that spot to this side, because I can find stuff on that side. It's a little harder to find them here. So let me connect now that. And I bring that down. When it hits this edge, now I project this over here. And I'm oh, sorry. Like that. And now, but it's because I already have this information right there, I can bring this to the left, and that completes my object. I'm rushing here a little bit, but and I'll trace it in a second. So there's my object. Oh, I'm missing a little line there. Okay. So what we'll do for the final drawing is we'll simply um, I'll do this freehand now. But uh, remember, this is at half scale, right, or even smaller. But in your final, you'll have your object in plan view. And then you'll have your perspective drawing. So that will be the only part that you're going to show in your drawing, which will be roughly uh, laid out like this. Okay. But I would like you to also include your construction, you know, just fold it in half uh, in your, uh, when you turn it in. And now I just want to show you a picture of the, of the uh, picture plane and ground line and all those elements in their relationship. So again, we have to remember that when we're doing a perspective drawing, we're really uh, bringing down to two dimensions something that's really three-dimensional, okay? So this is very schematic, but this would be your uh, horizon line. Uh, this right here is your picture plane, okay? This is your ground line. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really show how many vanishing points. There are probably just one, uh, so that would be somewhere here. In our drawing, we have two, okay? Uh, well, what happens then is that when we say bring down a point from the picture plane down to the horizon line, what we're doing is we're really uh, flipping down that line. You know, in other words, the picture plane, the glass plane, gets folded down so that all the lines on the picture plane co get combined with the lines on the ground plane, which then becomes our drawing. Okay, so just remember that you know it's an abstraction that we're doing. And um, anyway, and that's the demo for the two point.